Hey, excuse me, sir. Yeah. I love your dog. Oh yeah. What's thanks. up? My name is Devon. Devon I'm a local like, artist. Yeah. This is uh, this is Dash. Hey, Dash. Can I paint you guys? Both of you. All right, all right. Let's yeah. do it. What do you think, Dash? Let's, do this stuff. let's see if we can get him to hold still. What's your name, and what's one of your biggest dreams in life? My name's Mike. <laughs> this is Dash. I think if you had asked me a year ago, I would have said something super selfish. Actually, I would have said like I want to build a billion-dollar company, have a legacy. We actually had a daughter like six months ago and like honestly I just wake up every day I just want my family and everyone to be happy and healthy. How long have you had your dog? Five or six years ago. My wife actually got him without telling me. She'd always wanted a dog and like classic me I was like very scared of commitment. After we got married on the honeymoon back from the flight we land. She like pulls up her phone she starts getting really giddy and I'm like babe why, why are you so happy and she's like we're getting a dog in a month <laughs> and I thought it was like an Amazon package I was like hit refund hit cancel <laughs> and then she takes a look at me and she goes what are you gonna do divorce yeah. me and that's when I was like oh shit, we're married now all right <laughs> but it has been the best decision we made. How are you want to want to check it out yeah yeah it's a surprise for me. I haven't seen it yet. Oh, heaven. <laughs> heaven. Fortune. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, thank you. Where are you from? Oh, Ireland. Ireland? Oh, nice. I want to go there one day. I love your accent. Yes, it's not as thick as a proper Irish accent that I've been here so long. Oh, nice. Yeah, I want to go um, do watercolor paintings in Ireland. Oh, yeah. You're, you're going to be amazed by the cloud formation. The clouds? The clouds are really, really beautiful. Sorry, it's all right. all right. Have a good day. So what's your dog's personality like? Uh, we always say he has a cat personality. Cat? <laughs> yeah, because like he is totally happy by himself. I'll give you an example, right? We threw him a birthday party once. Like cake, all of his friends were there. He spent the entire time just chilling out underneath the table. But he's totally happy. You know, he's totally happy. We actually got him a sister about six months ago. They're like best friends now. What are your dog's favorite toys or treats? He doesn't necessarily have a favorite toy. What he loves to do with his toys is throw them up in the air and then sometimes throw them and hit me with them. <laughs> so I guess his favorite toy is anything that like gets good, you know, it's like yeah, gets good, uh, good aim yeah. and uh, good height. Does he ever misbehave? It's actually really good. My wife and I are like, we're so, we say we're so lucky all the time. The thing is, when we were deciding to get his sister, <laughs> we were like, oh, two dashes, that's easy, right? <laughs> And his sister, we describe her as like a real dog. You know, like she barks, uh, she, she's got a lot of energy, she wants to play all the time. So she's like definitely more work than another Dash. We love them both though. What's one thing that your dog does that always makes you smile? You get home from work, you might've had a good day, you might've had a bad day, you open it up. He's like always happy to see you. His, his top priority is like just being happy with you, with my wife, with the rest of my family. Uh, so what I just love about him is honestly like his unconditional love. Hey! So cute, right? This is Dash. <laughs> oh yeah? I haven't seen it yet. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. Dash, say thank you. Thank you. Oh, you hey, too. Great meeting you. Thank you, thank you. So where'd you grow up? I grew up in Jersey. I'm always trying to convince my wife to go back. To go back? Yeah. We love New York, though. I think we're in New York to stay. What about you? Where you grow up? Oh, I grew up in the Bronx. Shout out to Brooke Ave. Totally cool in Jersey. I love Jersey, <laughs> but it's true, you know? Like, we can be honest about that. Who was one of the most influential people in your life? Is it a cliche to say my parents? Like, I wake up so grateful every single day because my parents came here from Taiwan with nothing. And I just saw them work super hard to give my brother and me like a really good life. And now I get to walk around New York City, the best city in the world with a dog in a backpack, you know? Like, uh, yeah, that's so like, cool. It's, it's like such an opportunity. He's been sitting here for so long. The dog is cute. He's doing the hard <laughs> job, you know? He's a very nice guy too. <laughs> if you could go back and give your 18 year old self advice, why would you tell young Mike? I would tell him enjoy life. Yeah. You know, like all of the things that you think are so big and heavy at that time won't actually matter in five to ten years. What will matter is like your friends and family that are around you, the people you're spending time with. I loved college, but I was like stressed about like school classes. Those things matter, but in the grand scheme of things, like what do I remember? I remember my friends. So true. What was your major? Business. Uh, what's that mean? I, I don't really know. <laughs> I got pretty good at bullshit. <laughs> you know, I can I can make a fancy PowerPoint. Yeah, I just made a PowerPoint recently, and it took me back to high school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to exactly. do a talk for Adobe Max, and yeah. I had to talk on this stage in front of like thousands of people. It was crazy. That's I awesome. Though. I had so much fun. How you doing? Check this out. Beautiful. You want to paint? 
<laughs> the hair. That was so funny. She did not want to yeah. pay. No. Oh, thank wow, you. Damn. Oh, thank you so much. This is uh, Dash and Mike. Thank you. Good. <laughs> yeah, very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. I had to talk about um, growing up in the South Bronx and become my dreams of becoming an artist and right. like, finally succeeding at doing uh, what I'm doing now. And yeah. Yeah. I, I was basically like in the hood on welfare and poverty. Like right, right. my my dad left me. My mom was like so abusive. All my friends in middle school were like gang members. So right. everything just flipped around for me just through the power of art. And right. so, did you always know you you wanted to be an artist? Yeah, always. Ever since like I was five years old, right. my teachers would ask me like, "What do you want to be when you grow up?" And I would always want to be an artist because I can't really do anything else. Honestly, I suck <laughs> at everything else. Like I can't. So that's kind of similar, right? Like I just remember watching my parents just like scrape by and work their asses off. And it just reminds me every day how lucky we are. What message do you think the world needs to hear right now? Honestly, I just feel like everyone needs a little bit more grace in the world. You know, it's just like we're all human. I tell myself that every day because my baby hasn't been sleeping. And it's like, we're just trying to make it the next day. Well, it reminds me of a few things. How much work my parents put in. And yeah. like, I've never thanked them once for it. Yeah. You know? so, but we have video evidence now, you know? Yeah. So like, I, 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 my wife and I always joke that we're going to show her all, like, all, the, all these videos. <laughs> but it just reminds me of how lucky we are. Is this your first kid? First kid. First kid. And I was worried about so many things before she came out. And she came out and you're like, oh, she's healthy. That's all that matters. And it teaches you like kind of unconditional love. And the baby's just like that times a million. How did uh, being a dad change you? Like I thought I knew what it meant to be happy and what it meant to be sad. And then you have a baby and you're just like, oh, like this is what happiness means. There's like a whole other level. And it is also, also what sadness means. There's a whole other level. It just like expands. That's incredible. So like, I don't know, it's been great. It's hard. It's like super hard, but it, it's great. It really is. Amazing. I just finished. It looks amazing. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Mike and Dash, thank you both for sharing your lives with me. This is my interpretation of your lives. Oh, whoa. <laughs> we look great. Thank you, thank you. I'm glad holy you like moly. it. <laughs> he looks amazing, and I'm there, you know? <laughs> thank you so much, Mike. This wow. was fun. No, thank you, Thank man. you, Mike. I loved hearing your story. Thank you, thank you, thank thank you Dash. You. Let me say bye to Dash. All right, goodbye, Dash. Thank you so much. Love you. Dash, look. Have a great day, guys. Thank you. Keep smiling. <laughs>